Hi, my name's Lee Ride Far, and I teach people how to ride Can Amps, and I also teach people how to ride motorcycles. So if it's got two or three wheels, I can teach you. And one of the first things I teach my Can Am students is to roll off or against the throttle while they brake. So watch my foot, watch my hand. As I brake, I roll against it. So I'm shutting the door on the throttle as I slow down. And what this is preventing is me accidentally rolling on the throttle while I press. And I've seen this before. If we have to stop quickly, we might tense up, pull down and press down our foot, causing the front tires basically to stop and the rear wheels to start spinning, which is a burnout. Maybe you want to do that, but probably not in most situations. So I'll just give you a quick demo of what I mean by this. brakes roll against the throttle that's the first one all right next tip where to park this is an example of a perfect place to park you have nothing in front of you because the front end of your can-am is very delicate there's a radiator in here and this is just plastic that's not too strong. So if you hit anything with any sort of impact, you will crack that plastic and probably damage the radiator in there, which the fuse box is here and the batteries here. So you can cause a substantial amount of damage just by tapping the front bumper. So do not park in front of a pole. This is not a good idea. And part really why it's not a good idea is the can amps are jumpy so when you use the throttle they can sort of jump ahead of you and surprise you and smash into a pole causing a ton of damage so you don't want that and I will just show you why right now okay so the throttle is jerky and I'll show you how jerky it is and this is just the 600 the 900 would be even more jerky <laughs> momentum can smash that front end pretty good then you got a pretty big repair bill so I want you to step on the brakes lightly add a bit of brake there now you control how you move forward very much in control next tip is backing in to your parking spot this is better than pulling it because when you back into a parking spot or a stall, it's much easier and you're more in control of what's behind you. Whereas if you're to back out of this stall, then you gotta back out into traffic or a busy road, which can be a little more stressful. So make it easier on yourself and back up into that stall and use just what you just learned is apply the rear brake gently and add the throttle so it's a nice, smooth and controlled reverse into your parking spot. Yes, you will wear your brakes out a little quicker, but that's still gonna be a lot cheaper than smashing your Can-Am into something you don't want to. Reverse on three wheels can be tricky, and for the Riker, not the Spider, you must pull this lever down here to get to reverse, or you put your foot on it, press down and pull back as well. Uh, so it's pretty simple. However, you can make this really complicated. So what I want you to do is remove your hand from the throttle and grab the center of the handlebar before reaching down and grabbing the reverse. The reason why is I don't want you to pull the throttle when you lean forward. So I have seen this before and it's not good. This is 
what it looks like. I will tell the student, hey, I need you to reverse part of the exercise. They're like, good, I got you, instructor. I'm going to go into reverse now by pulling this lever. So they reach down. And hopefully, they don't hit anything. As you may know, cornering can be a bit tricky, only because when you want to go to the right, your body goes to the left. So you want to counteract that and work with the Can-Am, not against it. So when you're taking a right turn, even slower, even better at higher speeds, press down on the foot pegs and squeeze your knees into the tank here. Uh, tighten your stomach muscles and then lean your body. That way you're anchoring yourself, becoming one with your ride, and then moving your body weight to the right to counteract it, going to the left. And this will make cornering much smoother for you because you wanna go around to the right and you're just hanging on, and you might accidentally pull the throttle, turning too hard to the right, which would just make things absolutely more worse. And with any cornering and even any sort of riding you do on this, do not have a death grip on your ride. Uh, you wanna have a loose grip so you don't pull the throttle by accident and you'll fatigue your hands having a death grip. If you're new to this, I get it. You're just trying to stay alive out there, but relax, deep breath, relax your arms, loose grip, and just go along with the flow of the ride. The so good news with your Can-Am is it will stop quickly. You've got disc brakes up front and even a disc brake in the back giving you immense stopping power. So how that works is when you step on that brake pedal softly or aggressively, it will squish those front tires into the ground giving them more grip and stopping you even shorter. So it takes relatively little skill to stop this thing quickly which is a huge advantage in a stressful situation. But you have to be careful with that because what's going on behind you? No one else is going to be able to stop as quickly as you are. So when you come to a stop, you need to check those mirrors, ensure that traffic behind you is able to stop and aware of you so you can relax. If you can't and you think you're gonna get rear-ended, you gotta get the hell out of there. Either speed up, move off to the side, or jump and leap away and run away to safety. So those are the safety tips I have for you. It's what I run in my Can-Am class, just to ensure everyone can enjoy their ride and not have to worry about the uh, the dangerous aspects of riding out there but these things are pretty safe you got the three wheels so that makes things very easy or much easier there's still a risk but that's part of the fun is having that risk so let me know your safety tips or anything you can offer me so I can pass on to my students and some of the stories you have if you like the video of course like it subscribe to the channel and uh, share it out there thank you and let me know if you have any questions or comments about the video